All right, everybody, listen up. The infamous line that everybody should know. Here we go. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Just hearing that may make you feel unwell. Cause you've heard that already, yet don't say farewell. I'll teach you beyond that so your knowledge will propel. The mitochondria's just floating around. In the cytoplasm is where they're found. What do they exactly do, you ask? What they do is quite a mighty task. But let's talk about their structure first. They've got membranes and fluids, as if it's rehearsed. The outer membranes on the very outside, while the inner membranes on the inside. Between those two membranes is the intermembrane space. The matrix is in the inner membrane, their workspace. Oh, by the way, there's the cristae, folds in the inner membrane surface area giveaway. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Respiration something that they do really well. Converting glucose to ATP, their energy currency, compared to fermentation, that's not really a rarity. Through a three-stage process, they make that ATP, glycolysis, CAC, and the ETC. Starting from the cytoplasm into the matrix, then back out again. Does the trick. Glucose is something that is very yum, especially when it reaches the cell's tum-tum. That sounds so dumb. Keep, keep going. The process starts in the cytoplasm, glycolysis they call it, makes pyruvate in the plasm, NADH and ADP2. Before it continues, there's a prep step in the queue, transforms the pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. To the citric acid cycle, they don't delay. Using that acetyl-CoA, they go through a cycle, then itching to list them, let me go off like a motorcycle. <coughs> citrate, ketoglutarate, succinate, fumarate, oxalacetate, then back again to citrate. <coughs> Cover your cough. Anyways, it releases NADH and FADH2 as well, important for the electron transport chain if you can't tell. The ETC happens near the inner membrane, still in the matrix, the electron transport chain. NADH and FADH2 give away their electrons, pushing out the protons to the intermembrane space, so there's a higher concentration of protons down the concentration gradients where they're drawn. So they go back to the matrix. Through that synthase complex, ATP is finally made out through its channel protein so that it's paid. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Respiration something that they do really well. Converting glucose to ATP, their energy currency, compared to fermentation, that's not really a rarity. Through a three-stage process, they make that ATP, glycolysis, CAC, and the ETC. Starting from the cytoplasm into the matrix, then back out again. Does the trick. <laughs>